Hey you guys, it's Nathan. Today we're checking out a mini tripod that was sent out to me by a company. Uh, this tripod is called the MT08. And what's interesting is that this company, I think it's called Rotato or something like that. Uh, but they always come up with these odd names. Nonetheless, uh, there's a little user manual in here, but let's jump right into the product itself, which is basically an all metal mini tripod that sells for about $30 on Amazon. So. Uh, first we have an Allen wrench and I like that they included this in the box because there are times where you need to tighten up certain joints and things because maybe the resistance is too high or too loose but I'm glad they addressed that by putting it right in the box. Then we have the mini tripod itself and what's really awesome about this mini tripod is that it's all metal. You're not going to be getting plastic, you're not going to be getting some of the real weak stuff which for some of the inexpensive options like this one it's nice, but the problem is it is plastic, it's going to wear out, it's going to break over time. So for something that's going to be a bit more rugged use, this is going to be really nice. Now there's some rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't uh, slip, but it's nice, firm, and there's a lot of good resistance there when you're moving the legs around. So I like that a ton. It can hold up to 6 kilograms, which is actually more than what this 5K Gorillapod, this $100 tripod, is rated for. Of course, it's kind of different because it's not as big and things like that. But this tripod does hold its own if you're talking about putting a DSLR on there, a mirrorless camera with a big lens. You know, you can definitely do that with this tripod. Now, let me share with you why I think this tripod is worth that $30. So, of course, you have the construction, which is solid, but then it gives you a few extra added bonuses, which I think are really nice. So, first of all, if you are wanting to maybe put the ball head, which is kind of this top part on here that connects the camera and allows you to move it and turn it and rotate it in certain ways, you're able to take it completely off and it uses one of the larger uh, threaded connections here, which is a quarter inch connection. And this is really nice if you're going to be putting other uh, ball heads or other things on there, or if you were going to take this ball head here and put it onto like a monopod or to another tripod or something and still use the ball head. So it's kind of nice that it allows for a little versatility there. You're able to, of course, screw it back on. And then you have the rotation. And this smooth rotating head I think is really nice and will help for a lot of good B-roll shots and things like that. Basically, you can unscrew this, just a half turn, and then you are unlocked, basically. I'm gonna kind of just set this thing up here. And then you can make those turns and those rotations nice and smooth, feels like butter. And I'm sure that there's some higher quality things out there if you're willing to spend double or triple the price. But this is nice and smooth. And with some practice, I think you can get some really good turns with this mini tripod. So next, we're going to lock this back off right there. And then we're going to check out the ball head here. And I think this is really nice because sometimes they skimp out on this kind of stuff, but the ball head I think is really helpful. So you can unlock it with once again, just a half turn, and then you can rotate it to whatever you'd like it to be, whether it's just a, like a 45 or all this stuff, or even all the way to a 90 degree angle in something like a portrait mode. And you can lock it off at any position. So you can, um, really have a lot of flexibility here. What's also nice is that on the top here uh, with this rotator which rotates um, I can show you guys that real quick. Basically you can lock it off wherever you want it. Then you have this here where you can unscrew it and that's where you can take the plate, the mounting plate off of it. What's nice is that on here it actually is a level where you can actually see the level of it and I wish there was like maybe two levels or something like that but one's kind of just fine. It's so you're able to set up your portrait shots and get it just right, like just perfect. So you're able to look at the top and see, okay, I'm right in perfect, and your camera's gonna get a nice up and down portrait shot. And I think that's really helpful. I think they really were putting a lot of thought into those portrait shots when they were making this product. So what you would do is you would rotate it so you have some opening here, you'd get the plate on, and of course you'd have the camera connected. And this is gonna hold a decent amount of weight. And of course, the wider you set the legs, the more support you're gonna be able to have. Uh, there we go. But yeah, in my opinion, I think that 
some a setup like this makes it incredibly easy for someone to say, hey, I want to buy something uh, light, compact, something that's not going to get dirty over time, which I know that for this, because there's just a lot of rubber in the construction of this, some people would say, wow, yeah, they're really nice, they're really high quality, but maybe there's something that's even better. And I think that for an all metal construction where this is going to be sleek, it's going to be smooth, I think this is going to work out really well for a lot of people. Um, one thing to note here is that for uh, this top plate, it is um, kind of an interesting size. It's not like it's completely foreign. I was trying to mess around with it with some of the other plates that I have. So like with my uh, Joby 5K, it fits on it perfectly. You're able to lock it in and you're good to go. It's able to be hot swappable. But I was working with some of my kind of real inexpensive tripods, some of the smaller ones that I've got, and some of them were just too small to fit on here. So definitely look at the sizes that you might have laying around and just double check the size on the uh, on Amazon to what size this fits because it can uh, adjust a good amount, but you just want to make sure that it works with kind of what you already have or be willing to make those changes. One other thing that I want to also uh, share with you guys is that I kind of have this odd question for you guys of which kind of mounting plates do you like? So on here, uh, you have um, this mounting plate here, but on the back you have a screw um, where you're able to screw it in. And you know, that's nice and all, but the challenge is that really you'd have to use your fingernail and stuff, but it doesn't have like what it has here on the Joby 5K where it actually has um, a little disc that comes out and you're able to tighten it off and lock it down to as much as you want and then you can push it back later. Now I know sometimes it can get finicky or things like that, but I think this goes back to the tip of always having a coin or something in your pocket to be able to tighten these things up. And yeah, a penny or something would work perfectly, but it's just something where if you didn't have that, you might end up breaking some nails uh, in the process of trying to tighten this thing down to exactly where you'd want it to be. Um, but nonetheless, I think it's a solid product. I'm going to enjoy using it. I will definitely let you guys know if I have any further thoughts on it. But for $30, I think it's a solid option for something that has a plate, has a ball head, does those 90 degree portrait shots, has a smooth head for the rotating, and then with the legs where it's solid construction, it's not going to break over time. It's going to be something that's going to hold up for years and years. So for $30, I think it's a nice tripod if it's what is the next thing in your kind of creator bag that you need to add. I definitely think it's something you guys should consider. And I want to thank you guys so much as well as the company for sending this out. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.